together. What if I had something a little more complicated? 3x plus, actually let's make it 3x times 2, plus 4x times 3. Now you need to go back to your order of operations a little bit. You have a plus here, but you've got this multiplication going on. Multiplication always gets done before addition, so let's work on that. For this term, 2 times 3 is 6. x times, you know, nothing here, 1 really, is just x. So you have 6x, right? You're going to add this to whatever you get in this term. 3 times 4 is 12. X is just multiplied by nothing, just 1 here. There's no other x's here to add with the exponent, so the x just comes along for the ride. So we get 6x from this. Multiplying the coefficients, we keep the uh, guy. You can, you can think of it as everything being multiplied together. 3 times 2, uh, 3x times 2. Multiply the numbers. X is just multiplied by, there's nothing here, there's just a 1, so you can get, 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 get the x there. Here you have 4x times 3 giving us 12x. Now, we have two like terms here. The x's are the same, so this is like terms. We can collect them. 6 plus 12 is 18. 18 what? 18 x. It's really, really important that you understand what I'm doing. Play it a few times if you don't quite get it. Um, you can sort of think of this as in a parentheses that helps you. I didn't write them there because a lot of times on your test you won't have them written there and you need to understand what it means. We evaluate this guy. You can think of this as um, multiplying these exponents. The x, if there's nothing else to multiply by as far as adding exponents, he just comes along for the ride just like before. But you can't just drop them. You can't just get rid of them. Let's keep doing some more problems. I think you'll get the hang of it. Let's say we have 5 times a times 3 minus 2a times 6. So for this first thing, we have 5 times 3 is 15, and a is just hanging out, so we're going to bring him along, a. Because remember, he's multiplied by everything else too, so he's got to stick around. Minus this guy, 2 times 6 is 12. a is in there, so he's got to come along for the ride. He's multiplied by everything else as well. Now we have two like terms. We have a here and a here, so we uh, add these coefficients together. 15 minus 12 is 3a, like that. Okay, now let's say we get into something a little bit similar, but we have some negative signs here. 4n times 4 minus 3n times 3. So we're doing the same thing, really. Um, you can sort of think of a parenthesis around this and a parenthesis around this, but it helps you because you got this minus sign. You have to do the multiplication first, so we're going to work in here. 4 times 4 is 16, but we have a negative. So negative 16, n comes along for the ride. He's multiplied by everything else, too. You can't just drop him. Minus 3 times 3 is 9n. He doesn't just drop away because he's also involved as well. Now we have like terms. We can collect them. Negative 16 minus 9 uh, is going to be negative 25. 25 what? 25n because that like term is hanging out there. So negative 25 times n. Now let's say I have negative, open parentheses, negative 2x squared minus x. And I want to do that. Now, inside of the parentheses, which usually is what you do first, you have an x squared and you have an x, and they're added, or in this case they're subtracted. You can't really do anything inside of there to make it any simpler because you have uh, x squared and you have x. These are not like terms, so you can't add them. But I can distribute the, the negative 1 into here and the negative 1 over like this. So what I'll get is... Negative times negative gives me positive 2x squared. Negative times negative gives me positive x. And that's all you can do. You can't really do anything more than keep it as 2x squared plus x because these are not like terms, so I cannot add them together. So it's really important to keep straight about the like terms uh, and so on.